Hey there, it's Melissa Thompson again, and today on Tuesday, it's another Facebook Live, and we're back in the Stable Subdivision in Carryville. We're at 1272 Pershawn Pass. So we have five bedrooms and five and a half baths, so you can kind of see around me what we look like here for new construction. And again, it's new construction, so you have to, you get what you get at this point in it, but I wanted you to see it. So there's still time to finish, to pick out some selections actually. So that's the front. And then we've got this whole new phase down here that's coming here. So it should be sometime in the spring, but we have these two houses in here now. So let me turn this around and come on in and let's take a look at the front. So anyways, again, we're probably about five weeks out. Uh, we're listed for six sixty nine nine, but let's come on in and take a look. I'll walk you through real quick. I just ran off the trim carpenter, so <laughs> it shouldn't be too loud for a minute. All right, so we're walking in the front, and I can send you a plan for this as well, so give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay, and then if you, if you have any questions about anything, and go back. So I know it's kind of hard to tell with new construction, but I still love it in the same token. So you walk into the left, you get this humongous um, dining room. Of course, in here, we've got all the nailed down hardwood floors. So what that means is, is they're you know raised up and then they're stained. They have to be sanded and stained, so it's another process to it. So that's why it's a little bit more time. You know, all the molding, smooth ceilings, and we'll come back in and take a look at it when, when we're done. But then as we, we come on in and walk into the kitchen, so again, you can see all the cabinets. I mean, all of the designs are so nice and special touches on it and big windows that you've got in the eating area. And again, I mean, just like floor to ceiling cabinets. So it's amazing. Lots and lots of space in the kitchen part. And then back over here would be the pantry. Um, but then we'll turn this around so you can see all the spots. Sorry, all the doors are open and windows, of course, as they're working in here with the kitchen. And then it's just another open area, but it's kind of, you know, jetted off to where the eating area, and then you come back in here to the living area. So you've got all the doors. It has lots of doors across the back, which I love. And then the vaulted ceilings here, and then the fireplace. So he always says, we'll have a neat finish to the fireplace, and then some built-ins to the left and right of it, which is neat. So again, we're in the stable subdivision in Carville, listed at 669, so you can see where we are. All right, so then as you come around, and all of these have irrigation systems, so you can see in the back the irrigation system that's going, and a gas, see the gas line coming out of the brick for like your gas uh, to grill. All right, so then we're coming back around here to the front. The stairs are right here, and then just wanna see, so you can see the front door here. All right, then we're gonna walk towards the front, and then you come in here to the left, and you've got um, its own bedroom and bath here. So again, great place for company or, and again, he doesn't need his floors. I love the floors. Now this is a half bath. So we've got a full bath in here and this, the bedroom off the front, but then the half bath right there for guests. So you've got this big uh, bedroom here. Again, he's so good about having, you know, your own private bath. So you've got a bath here for guests. If um, your parents need to come stay or live with you, whatever that may be. All right, so we're going to go back in past here. Get us situated again. All right, instead of going straight, we're going to turn to the right. So you can see where we are walking in to the master. Now, this door goes up to the garage. Got some built-ins here. And then right next to the master, which is nice is the laundry room, which you can kind of see. It's kind of with no lights in right now. Of course, what we're working on. Again, hardwood floors. Now we're walking into the master. So you've got a big master, all the windows. It always has lots of light. And then again, we're in the sheetrock stage. So there's still time to pick up colors and different things. Then we're walking into the master bathroom. Again, he'll have a free standing tub. You've got one vanity here that you can see. And then again, the windows, and then where the tub would be. And then we'll circle around. Lot, again, lots of cabinets, lots of cabinet space. Then another vanity. And then again, he always does a great job with the showers. So you've got the shower here for the master. All right, then we'll walk on around. Let me situate it again. And then when you walk straight back, you walk into the master closet. So again, he's got even hardwood in the closet, of course. And then you know, it's kind of two-sided, so you kind of have his and hers, but lots and lots of space. So again, if you want the plan, if 
you can see it better on paper, I'm happy to send it to you as well. But we're walking back out to the master, and then we're gonna run upstairs because the trim guy came and <laughs> wants to finish working. All right, so I'm walking back up. All right, so again, I'm going to walk straight ahead. We've got this one bedroom here, its own bath again, that you can see. So we've got three bedrooms up, its own closet. Hardwood, as you can tell, here and up the steps. All right, then you walk to the left off the steps and I'm walking into another bedroom. So we've got this bedroom here with the closet. Straight ahead and then this bathroom, it goes all the way through to the hallway. So every bedroom has access to a bath and hopefully it's not getting too dark in here on us for you to see. But this one walks out to the hallway. So then if I walk across the way to here, here's another bedroom or a bonus room. But you've got, he put a closet in it so you could have, that's the attic straight ahead. But if we come here, again, two windows again, we've got another closet. So if you needed another one, we could actually be six bedrooms. All right, and then the access to this one, like I said, is across the hall for the bath. All right, then we're walking back down the hallway to get a better view here. So we're walking to the other bedroom. So you've got, again, all this space up here. So you walk in to bedroom number three upstairs. You've got a window here and you've got your own bath as well here. Another walk-in closet. And then of course, the bathroom. Can you see it? So always lots of tile work and everything so you can see what his bathrooms look like. All right. All right, so we, like I said, we are at 1272 Pershawn Pass. You can kind of see his finishes. We're about five weeks out. If you're interested in this house, we're at 669. Again, he does nice, nice finishes on it, but you could do the paint and even the stain in the hardwood. You know, you can pick out different stains of that too. But again, um, just let me know if you have any questions. And if you want me to send you some information, again, I'm going to walk up to, so you can see out this window in the next phase, which is coming, uh, should be beginning of the year. So that's what that looks like. So we got another phase out here in the stables in Carioville. So if you have any questions about anything, like you said, or you want to know uh, more information, or maybe you want to build and talk to them, so just let me know. All right, thanks so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.